Has it sunk in yet that you're now less than a week away before you're going to Rio? Yeah, I mean, it's less than a week I leave on Sunday, so I'm pretty much excited to get out there. You know, just, is this, I mean, I know you've been a competitor for a long time. You've done this for a long time, but is this a different kind of a preparation, not just physically, but mentally? Is it different? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a little bit different because uh, it's the uh, highest sports event in the world, and uh, all athletes, the greatest athletes in the world, all come there and compete. So the atmosphere is pretty much different going out there. How long has this been your dream to, to run in the Olympics? Yeah. I remember I started running in 2007, so when I watched the Olympics in 2008, I felt myself like I need to go to the Olympics someday to represent my motherland. So, uh, four years ago when they went to London, I watched it, I was still home, and I, was, I wasn't ready at all. I'm like, okay, I still have more years to go, so let me keep on training and I'll get there. So, when I came to college and I had the courage, okay, now I think I'm ready to go, so I'll just work hard towards it and go out there and run. What was the moment like when you found out that you would be going? I was so excited. I mean, I was screaming, jumping. I didn't know what I was doing. That was the most exciting day in my life, I would say. Did you find out, I guess, how to qualify or how, how, how that whole process worked for you? Uh, I ran because uh, it was the last meet and uh, I didn't want to be more, put more pressure on me because uh, the deadline was on the 11th and I ran on, on the 8th. So that was the last competition I could ever do to qualify since I could always qualify all these meets. So. I was a little bit nervous going out there though, but I tried so hard to just be relaxed and go out there and uh, I did what I was supposed to do and I got a good outcome. Manuel, you say you're ready. Why do you think you're ready? Uh, through my work, the kind of workouts I've been doing, I've been doing it right and correct all the time and uh, I've been hitting all my max I'm supposed to and no injuries as of now, so that's why I feel confident I'm ready. What do you like about the 200 meter event? I mean, uh, it's my, my favorite event. I do the one, two, and the four. So uh, the one helps me for my speed, and the one that helps me for the endurance. So 200 is kind of like the middle of the one and the two. So I think that's my favorite event, and uh, that's why I like it. What kind of times have you been hitting during your training, and, and what what sort of time is your goal for, for when you get there to Rio? Uh, my, my, my goal for me and athlete is to be better than who I was yesterday. That's what, I, that's what I've been with me all the time. So me going out there to find out who I was uh, yesterday, that's, that was the time I qualified, which was my uh, PR ring. So I'm just part time the rest to go out there and take the roster by the time. What is your PR? Uh, 249. Okay. Manuel, friends and family, is anyone uh, anyone making the trip to Rio to, to cheer you on? Nah, nobody was making it out to Rio, but then they're going to watch me on TV, so I'm going to be super excited. <laughs> What, what does it mean to you to be able to represent your home country, represent Ghana in the Olympics? Uh, it, it means a lot to me because uh, every athlete's biggest dream in this world is to become an Olympian or to become an Olympian. So me having this great opportunity to go out there and showcase my talent, represent my native country, my school, WKU, and myself, is such a great honor for me. How long How long did you live in Ghana? Uh, I lived in Ghana pretty much all of my life. Mm -hmm. I came here two, uh, two years ago, so that's pretty much how it is. What do, you, what do you think 